The Swedish government announced on August 15 that it has adopted a new support package to Ukraine. The assistance includes ammunition and spare parts for several of the equipment systems that Sweden has donated to Ukraine, including Combat Vehicle 90s and Battle Tank 122s, Stridsvagn 122, Leopard 2A5. Sweden is also sending transport vehicles, contingency goods, and mine clearance equipment. At the same time, the government is obtaining authorization to sell the RB-99 Amram air-to-air -air missiles to the United States, which will then donate them to Ukraine. The total value of this 13th support package amounts to approximately 3.4 billion Swedish kronor. Spare parts and contingency goods, Ukraine has requested spare parts for Combat Vehicle 90, CV-90, and Battle Tank 122, Leopard 2A5, which Sweden donated to the country. The government is now responding to this need and donating spare parts and contingency goods that Sweden can do without for a limited period of time, with a value of up to 1.1 billion Swedish kronor. Ammunition, mine clearance equipment and transport vehicles, in the 13th support package, Sweden is also donating ammunition with ammunition components, transport vehicles, and mine clearance equipment that can be spared for a limited period of time, worth 2.15 billion Swedish kronor. Sale of the RB-99, the Riksdag is also granting the government authorization to sell RB-99, AMRAM, air-to-air missiles to the US in 2023. The U.S. will then donate these missiles to Ukraine and offer Sweden the option to buy a more modern version of the AMRAM. The total value of this 13th support package amounts to approximately 3.4 billion Swedish kronor. The package also includes compensation to the Swedish armed forces for transport and protective security costs, for example. With this support package, Sweden will have contributed over 20 billion Swedish kronor in military support to Ukraine since Russia's full-scale invasion began.